Hello again, everybody. Alrighty. Well, what am I doing today? Um, we had a pretty good little storm here. Um, in fact, a lot of people were out of power for uh, a week. We, of course, had power, but um, it was limited. We still use grid power for a lot of things. Um, but we had all of our off-grid stuff, so... We were fine, you know, we had our fridge going, we had our TV, internet, I mean, the essentials. Um, <laughs> and oh yeah, lights. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we had everything going, and uh, a lot of other people, they were having to run generators and stuff like that to keep their food cold and stuff. Um, but it was such a huge storm, the highest winds we have had around here for a long time and you can see up there you can see well it's hard to do that with the mirrored image you can see right there that tree broke off and pieces and parts of it are laying all out in the yard here i cut some of the grass some of the grass i couldn't cut because of the presence of a tree and the tree actually fell on those vehicles uh that's my son's s10 that he's wanting to put a v8 in at some point and the old lumina that, that, that actually belongs to my other son so that's their uh parking spot i guess it didn't hurt either one of them the old s10 is going to have to be redone anyway but it didn't hurt it uh i was afraid that it might have broken the windshield on the lumina but it didn't hurt it either so it's fine Anyway, what we're doing today, let me turn you around and I'll show you. These trees have got to go. We don't want them here uh, laying in the yard. So, yeah, that was a pretty good sized tree. And I can show you another place. Okay, this is the old generator shack where I got my backup generator hooked up, which actually doesn't run anymore. I'm going to have to get that one running. That one doesn't run either. I'm going to have to work on these. But anyway, as you can see, there is supposed to be a trail through here. Um, you can see Buster peeking over the hill back there. Uh, I can't get Buster out now <laughs> because there is a tree in the way. So, yeah, we're going to have to get that out of the way. Actually, there's like, I think there's three of them there. Um, one of them fell... You know, of course, was standing up there. It fell, knocked into the other. Domino effect. Kind of, uh, yeah. They all ended up down here. Now, we didn't have any major damage, but it's just stuff like that. Just trees that are in the way. Okay, so what are we going to do about these trees? So we just basically want to get rid of it. We may keep some for campfires and stuff like that, but mainly we want to get rid of it. In order to cut it up, I've got a battery-powered chainsaw. It's a Greenworks. It has a 40 volt, if I can get it out of there. It has a 40 volt lithium battery, 2.5 amp hour. Right in the top of it, right here. And the placement is really good it balances the saw really well. I guess that's that's the design. And we're going to try this out. Got a 14 inch bar on it, by the way. We're going to try this out and just see how it works. Now the battery, as you can see, battery is all charged up. You might be able to see that. It has a uh, little indicator on it that tells you the battery is all charged up. It has a little safety kickback thing right here. So, uh, yeah, back is supposed to be unlocked. Yeah. And one thing, when I first got this and I charged it and first pulled the trigger, I thought it was messed up. I got it at Walmart. I paid $100 for it. And uh, they had a very limited supply of chainsaws there. 
gasoline or battery, either one, even, I think all the plug-in ones were gone. I think they had one gasoline one, and they had a couple of different battery powered, and this was one of them. Now, when I first pulled the trigger on it, I went, and it didn't come on. And I thought, uh-oh, now I've got a bad one. No, it has a safety built in, which is actually a good idea because if you're doing something with it and you accidentally bump the trigger, it won't come on. Now, if you hold the trigger in, it comes on. But you gotta hold the trigger for a second. And as soon as you let off of it, that blade stops. And then if you have a kickback, this thing will kick forward or your hand will kick forward and it will turn it off. This does not hit a brake. It doesn't need to because as soon as that motor turns off, it instantly stops the chain. So it doesn't need to hit a brake when you do that. That's just how the other ones with the gasoline engine works because um, there's no way to like instantly stop a gasoline engine from turning so they stop the clutch with a brake. So this one, this is just a switch that turns the motor off in case you get a kickback. But anyway, so far, it looks pretty cool. It's, it's a nice looking saw. But looks of a saw are really a very secondary thing. What I'm curious about is how it works. Now I have already cut just a little bit, like a couple of little limbs and stuff like that. But this is gonna be the first time actually trying it out and seeing how it does on some real, pretty good sized trees. Now let's see. I think we're in frame there. See how it does on this. Let's go back about right in here. Okay, that's a more manageable size piece. Well, it is making smaller pieces of wood, so that's what we want. All right. Well, that's got that piece pretty much cut up. Let's see. That one small tree. 
Lost the bar. I guess it's rolling over. Think the temperature. Let's see. It's, a warm. it's not hot in any way. Maybe it just needs to cool down for a few minutes. All right. Well, let's see what we've done. All right. Now, after all that cutting that I've done, which I cut that whole little tree. That's not really uh, the battery. It's still showing. Like three bars. As you can see. The battery's still showing three bars. But when you pull the trigger, it starts and then stops. And it won't do it immediately after it stops. It won't start back. But if you let it sit for a little while, it will start itself back. Now, I don't know what causes that unless it's maybe a thermal overload. Maybe the little motor is getting hot. After about 25 cuts, it shouldn't be getting hot already, I wouldn't think. Um, it should be able to do more than that, especially since the battery still has three bars on it. And I did, at first I thought, well, maybe it ran out of oil. And to keep from destroying the chain, maybe it might have a low oil sensor. It's still, well, you can't really see down in there, but it still has a half of a container of oil. So it's not low on oil. It is, I think... Because this cover is a little warm. It's not even really hot at all. There is nothing on it that has any kind of high temperature. A little bit warm, not much. So a thermal overload, I don't see how after such a short time, I don't see how it could have a thermal overload. Maybe what I need to do is take the battery out for a little bit and let it cool down. The, ba the battery is a little warm. If you can only cut like 25 cuts with it and it 
has to cool down or do whatever it's doing. I mean, like I said, the battery is charged still. So, I don't know. In that case, it's going to take a little while to cut all this stuff up. Oh, I can probably have that one cut off the next time. And then each one that I work on, I'm going to have to wait for it to cool down. So that is not a good thing. Huh. I guess all I can do is let it sit and cool down for a little while. And we'll get back to it. So, it's not been very long. It's been like 10 minutes or so. Uh, I left it sit for about 10 minutes the last time and came back and it ran well you saw how long it ran battery is still warm but i took an air hose and i uh blew cool air through these cooling vents to cool down the interior of the saw if that is the problem if the problem is the inside of the saw is getting hot then that should have cooled it down if it's the battery getting hot and something wrong with it then, uh, well, that'll tell us too. Let's see. Maybe it was the case, it's, or the inside of the saw. Now, it may be that it has a bad thermal overload on the motor or something. I don't know. Brand new saw shouldn't do that though. Not after, well, I counted them. I made about 30 or 35 cuts. After 35 cuts, a saw shouldn't shut off and just not work. When it has plenty of battery power left. I mean, if it were really, really hot, then I could understand it, but it wasn't. The battery is just warm. It's not hot. The case is not hot at all. All, well especially now that it cooled everything down but it wasn't hot at all so I don't know see if we can cut this side up There it went again. Now it's showing two bars on the battery. And it's just cut off again. I know I can't expect gas powered saw performance from a battery powered saw, or I guess I can't. It would be good to cut a tree down or something but to cut it all up, you got to really take your time. I don't think it's good for this type of work. <laughs> <coughs> now the chain and the bar seem to work really good. Uh, it cuts really good when it's running. Yeah, the, ba the battery pack had drained down to one bar and then one of them came back. So you got two bars now. I just don't know. I wasn't pushing on it either. Well, we're going to try to get this cut up a little bit more. I mean, see if we can get this cut up anymore. All right, so how did the little saw do? Huh. Yeah, uh, technically it still has 
one bar left and it would probably cut some more if I gave it enough time to cool down but it has it has made 40 or 45 cuts something like that and uh, yeah I mean the chain and the bar it cuts really good it has plenty of power uh, you can see it's cut all these it's got it into pretty manageable sizes where I can haul it off. Let's see if I can get this tree cut off of the vehicles over here. We'll try that. I mean, it's in small enough pieces I can get, I can drag it somewhere. That's what the battery is showing now. Okay, now, battery is showing nothing. It still runs. Yeah, it still runs. But the battery is showing no charge, so. Uh, according to the instructions, you don't want to run it after it gets down to not having any lights to where it's not showing a charge at all. You don't want to run it anymore because you could damage the battery. All right, so what do I think of the Greenworks 40 volt saw? Now, um, would I recommend this to a logger to go out there and run up and down the hills and cut trees down all day? No, I would not. This would never make it. It would last, well, I mean, what have we been out here, about an hour? This would last about an hour and you'd be out of battery. Uh, you won't get a straight hour out of it though. Now that's one thing. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just this one. I don't know if it's just this saw something wrong with it or something like that or if that is just something that they do now this cutting out after heating up just a little bit um, it's cutting out way too soon the thermal overload is way too safe on it it, it is um, it's to the point that the motor is not even getting overly warm before it's shutting it down now it shouldn't be doing that uh, if anybody else has one of these saws and it does that to you too, then I'll know that it's just the saw. It's just the design of the saw. But if anybody else has one and it will run until it kills the battery out, let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know if it's just this one is messed up or if that is just the nature of this saw. Now, they are not made for, like I said logging or heavy duty use if you're cutting up wood for your wood stove you're probably not going to like this saw this saw would be perfect for like let's say you want something to take with you on the four-wheeler when you're going out riding or to strap onto the motorcycle and in a place where there may be a tree across the road or something now it would be good for that it would be good for a homeowner that has a tree that he's wanting to cut down and maybe just limb it and cut it a few times. Yeah, it would be good for that. Now, for heavy duty use, for day after day after day use, I don't think it will hold up and I don't, I don't think it would last. Um, we got like 50 cuts out of it and the battery shows dead it it was cutting pine and it was chewing right through it too no lack of power whatsoever i mean it had plenty of power it it just chewed right through that wood no problem but at the same time 50 cuts on a battery that size seems like it's a little 
little slight. Uh, I think it should have been able to cut more. But now that's the way it is, I guess. And it is showing that it is completely dead. I mean, it, it's got power left. It'll run the saw. But they don't recommend that you run it below where the lights all are turned off. Now, what it, you know, what is my review on this saw? I think it's okay for occasional use, and I think this will be a saw that I will, like I said, strap onto the four-wheeler and take with me when I go riding in case there's a tree across the road. Now, it would work great for that. It would cut the tree out of the way. You can go on your way, and, you know, it's fine. But I wouldn't recommend it to somebody that's going to be cutting wood all day. Like I said, 50 cuts. Battery is dead. I had to stop twice in those 50 cuts to let the saw cool down. That shouldn't happen. <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. Um, it's a cheap saw, or it had a cheap price on it. But I think you get a cheap saw for the cheap price. You know, I guess that's going to be my little review on the Greenworks 40 volt saw, uh, 14 inch. Yeah, it's okay. That's my opinion on it. It's okay. Nothing remarkable. Anyway, I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Mm -hmm.